So, hey everyone. Um, my book is about many topics, uh, many things that you can do in Tableau, um, but I want to focus on one specific thing that is not being used as much, I think. Maybe you can prove me wrong. Um, but it is the connection Python to Tableau and the way you can use, for example, machine learning models and uh, present the output immediately in Tableau. So I want to go step by step through the process on how you can set it up. And we are talking about a movie recommendation system. Um, can we get that screen bigger? Uh, yes, thank you. So. Um, OK. So currently, you can see the final output, but um, I will go step by step, like I said. So first step, install Python. And you can use, for example, anaconda.com, and then you get the Python installation as well as some pre-installed libraries. So that's easy. Then next step, install Tapai. Um, so how to do this is basically just to go to your um, terminal or command line, and you can say pip install tapi, or if you installed Anaconda, you can do in Jupyter Notebook explanation mark pip install tapi. And then in order to load it or to, to start it uh, up, you go to the location and you can see it here. So mine, um, it's in the side packages in the Python installation. And then you just say tapi and it will start. You will see a few lines so you know um, the system started. Then you go back to your Tableau screen and you go to help, settings and performance, manage analytics extension connection, and then you enter local host as the host name and port 9004. And then you should get a pop-up saying connection is connection established. So now the connection is set. Now we only need to write the code. So they are um, a few different calculated fields in Tableau available. You can see them up at the top, script, Boolean, integer, real, and string. Um, and how the uh, syntax works is that you start like always with the function and then in brackets, you put what you want to import. So the libraries and what you want to return. And then you say how many arguments you want to return and then um, you put a comma and then the last part is the argument itself. So in this example, we only have um, one argument and that is the sum of profit. You could also do argument one, comma, argument two, and then you would just put more fields that you already have in Tableau <clears throat> um, before you close the bracket. So in our case, for the movie recommendation system, um, I went to Kaggle and I just downloaded a um, data set of movies from um, IMDb. And um, I also found a movie recommendation model. So I just took that one. It doesn't matter if it works well or not, um, because I just want to show you how you can do it. But of course, you can also adjust the model, change it to something else. So in your in Python, or in this case, it's a screenshot from the Jupyter Notebook, you have to um, import the tab by client and then make the connection. So those are the first three lines. Then you just type out your model. Um, and then, like I said, I just used one already existing one from Kaggle. And then once you are done, you deploy the model by saying client.deploy the name of your function, you give it another name that you will see later on. Um, and that's it. So this is really all you have to do. Then we go back to the Tableau screen. You use your function. In this case, it's script string. And then you can see um, that we say return the query for the movie recommend function. And that is the one that we just deployed to the Tapai server. We add the argument, a response, and then the argument in our Tableau workbook is the parameter title. Because here you can see, 
from a very long list of tiles, you just select one and a code will return 10 recommendations that you will like if you like this movie selected. So before the session, I was looking at the Spider-Man movie, but now I already changed it to Snatch and I added a URL action. So by clicking on this link, you can see more in the Tableau workbook about the movie. You can also see that since I like Snatch, those are the 10 movies recommended to me that I might like. So if I want more information, I just click here. And can read about it and then decide which one I want to look tonight, uh, watch tonight. Um, and this is basically it. I know this is a little bit fast, but I just want to show you that it is very easy to deploy a model to Tableau and you don't even need like a full production flow. You can just use Tableau for it and you have a really nice working model. And if you want to see everything, also the code or maybe the link that I use from Kaggle, I will put it all on my website. So I will just put it in here, uh, maybe in the next few days and um, you will find everything there. Kate, hello. Yeah. Hey, Marlene. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this was amazing session. Thanks for uh, getting us through and running us through this. Uh, yeah, and uh, I know we've uh, you've had like you've been traveling a lot, uh, so but still you made it, so appreciate it. Yes, Marlene, no thank you so much. Amazing talk. I love the change of pace because we actually got a nice walkthrough of potentially something that folks have were not even aware that you can do is connecting Tableau and Python. So that was really helpful. Yeah. We we have a question here from the audience. Um, is this walkthrough in the book? Yes, it is step by step and slower than I just uh, talked. <laughs> yes, a five five minute uh, tutorial is is a uh, is a five minute tutorial, right? It goes by very fast. Yeah. Um, I think it's time for us to do the five book the giveaway. Raffle. I know yes. that's gonna.